Hey, uh, another tip video here. I'm with my uh, brother from another mother, Samba, the French Bulldog, working in the garage. He hates it in here, uh, so he's not going to give me any attention or high fives or tricks or anything. And um, I've gotten to the point where I actually have to take out this piece of the transmission with the clutch on top of it. Um, and I've already, uh, already gone ahead and torqued these bolts down, which actually holds that shaft in and I need to undo them and I'm gonna undo them with the uh, hammer screwdriver here or the impact screwdriver um, so I can take these bolts out and it's just a really good opportunity to show you how it works so let me go ahead and do that okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna get myself a hammer it's the first thing I'm gonna do and they're down here in the drawer marked hammers And what you can do is you can use a ratchet and kind of do one of these, but you have to actually put a lot of pressure on here because these are already torqued down. I think they're torqued down to like uh, nine foot pounds or something like that. And I really don't want to do that. Um, I'd rather uh, just make sure that it gets done right and do it with the impact driver. So you take out the impact driver piece here and then you get the large piece and you can see I've used it a lot because it's got like rifling almost, it's been twisted so much. And then what you do is you check whether it's twisting to the left or twisting to the right. This appears to be twisting to the right. That appears to be twisting to the left. We're gonna find out here in just a second. So essentially when you hit it with a hammer, what it does is it uh, moves the and I hope you can see this, what it does is it moves to the left or loosens right at the point of, of you giving this um, a tap on the hammer. So let's try that. It's not out yet, but this rubber grip is quite the bitch here and it screws it up. So let's try this again. Okay, not yet. Yep, there it goes. So now it will turn freely. Go ahead and undo that one a little bit. And then you see you got the same situation here. So. Screwed it up. No, it seems to, it seems to be turning left. There it goes. Now that will turn. And what it does is it it allows you to take these screws off without stripping them. Um, I know it might not be as an important now, but when you first take this case apart and everything's covered with oil. It's pretty important. And you can see even now, it's kind of a bitch to take this thing apart. And you've got to hit it with a hammer quite a few times to loosen these things up. These don't have any, um, there it goes. And for some reason, the last one always comes off harder than the rest of them. And you can see I'm hammering the shit out of it, but it's just, there it goes. It's pretty difficult to take this thing out. Okay, so we're gonna take all these off. Here. And that's it. You just unscrew them with your hand after you take them off with this thing. It's, I think it's like seven bucks. It's in the tools section. Of the, of the blog and you can find it and I'm telling you for all the 10 bucks you're gonna spend working on this thing it's definitely one of the tech it's definitely like tool for tool or dollar for dollar uh, you know some of the best money you can spend so what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna take this thing off this cover is gonna come off there's a bearing inside here 
because there's another shaft below. Let me get this thing off here. Come on. Oh, damn it. So I'm not going to be able to pull this off without maybe no I'm gonna have to pull the whole shifter apart but you can see the point that's how you take it apart anyway thanks a lot guys appreciate it